Auwi ka na ba ng Pilipinas at nais mong malaman ano ba mga kasagutan sa iyong katanungan regarding hand carry baggage allowance? Alam ko, nakakabahala ito sa iyo sapagkat nais mong malaman ang kasagutan at iwasan ang mga extra charge na maaari mong bayaran sa airport kapag sumobra o nagkamali ka ng pagpapackage ng iyong hand carry. Alamin ang mga kasagutan dito sa ating video for today. This is simply just for you. So watch this video and find out the answers. Hi mga kabayan at kaibigan and welcome to Jamie Iris Talk TV where we will be talking travel updates, guidelines, at other uh, travel-related topics as well as current events. For this specific topic, we will be talking about another episode of Sagot sa Yung Katanungan, aking mga kabayan, specifically talking about the hand carry, frequently asked questions na meron kayo, na iniwan ninyo sa aking comment boxes, at maari na naiisip po ninyo at hindi nyo alam ang kasagutan. Sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers, welcome back! I'm simply so Glad that you are once again with us na kasama natin sa video ito. At syempre, if this is your first time to watch this video, I simply want to say welcome. At nais ko kayong imbitahan na mag-subscribe sa aking channel so that you'll get updated with our everyday vlog regarding the topics mentioned earlier. So simula na po natin. Sagutin na natin ang inyong mga katanungan regarding hand carry baggage allowance so that at least you will have an idea ano ba ang kinakailangan yung gawin. And by the way, for today, we'll be focusing more on Philippine Airlines uh, kasi yun po yung maraming katanungan na meron kayo. And later on po, if you'll be traveling with other airlines, drop your comment lang po sa ating comment boxes at if you feature po natin yan sa ibang mga videos po natin. With that, let's start answering your questions. Hi, Witada. So, for your question, so sabi mo tatlo ang bagahe mo, pero maliliit lang po ang maleta at traveling bag lang po yung isa. So, uh, I'm imagining na kung sinabi mong traveling bag, maaring uh, is it a trolley or is it yung parang, alam mo yung parang sa sports bag na ginagamit natin na pahaba siya. Now, uh, ganito, Kung check-in baggage mo, kung allowed ka nung two pieces, then pwede yan. Tapos kung tat sabi mo tatlo, yung isa dapat hand carry siya. At katulad nung nabanggit ko kanina, dapat yung dimensions niya, ganun lang din. So maximum ng 22 uh, kumbaga inches, hindi, pula, hindi dapat uh, lumampas. And at the same time, dapat 7 kg kung carry on bag siya. At depende kung anong allowance mo sa check-in baggage, dapat uh, ganun din yung uh, number ng maleta mo. Kung sinabi nilang two pieces, then you can definitely carry two pieces. So, tingnan mo sa itinerary mo. Kasi depende yan eh. Uh, sa destination mo or kung saan ka manggagaling, yun yung allowance nila. So, please check it and then just abide by kung hindi, isisingiling ka nila ng extra. At by the way, um, meron akong gusto i-share sa iyo at sa iba pa dating mga viewers. So mga kabayan, in case na magka-travel kayo with the Philippine Airlines, aside sa hand carry ninyo na 7 kilograms, did you know that you are also allowed to carry the following? So mga kabayan, kung kayo magta-travel with the Philippine Airlines at madalas din ito ay sa ibang uh, mga airlines din pero ito specifically uh, galing po sa Philippine Airlines in addition to the free carry-on baggage allowance na meron ka na 7 kilograms, you as a passenger is also allowed to carry on a maximum of any of the two from this following items. So pwede kang magdala ng small handbag. So pag sinabi natin small handbag, enough lang po uh, na kumbaga uh, magkakash so, yung passport mo, i-allow nila. And like for example, sa akin, eto, this is what I usually uh, carry kapag ako po ay uh, nagta-travel. Ganito lang po kalaki siya. Tapos, allowed naman po nila kung halimbawa may liquid ka, tapos ilalagay mo na lang siya dun sa 100 ml na package natin. Mamaya, i-discuss ko. So, may strap po ito. So, they will consider this as one small bag. Yan. So, Paano kasi yung iba, uh, sabi nila, Miss Jamie, meron na silang one small bag like that and then nagka-carry pa sila na marami parang may mga maliliit lang pero nakastrap. Now, mamaya pag-usapan natin yan kung paano kinakount ng Philippine Airlines. So, pwede ka rin naman magdala ng pocketbook or purse. 
an overcoat wrap or blanket ako when i go to sa malamig na uh, country po like for example alaska ayan meron talaga kong uh, coat or kaya naman sa halimbawa uk kung malamig yung season nila meron ako dalang coat po na extra on top of my hand carry and at the same time nung aking ito po yung isang small bag ko small camera or binoculars, laptop with case, a reasonable amount of reading material, duty-free bag, infant's food for consumption in flight, pair of crutches or braces, walking stick and other prosthetic device for the passengers uh, use provided that the passenger is dependent upon them. So at the book. On top of your 7 kilograms, free baggage allowance, pili lang po kayo, dalawa sa mga item na ito, maaari kayo magdala at libre rin ito. Yan po. So just make sure hindi po napakalaki like for example, yung laptop bag po natin. Lalo na kung sanay po kayo sa mga Middle Eastern uh, carriers or mga five star, uh, for example, uh, mga airlines. Uh, talagang halimbawa, gano'ng kalaki man yung laptop bag po ninyo, okay sa kanila yon At kahit sometimes yung may nilalagay ka pang laman. But sa, sa Philippine Airlines, uh, yun po yung naging challenge ko one time when I actually came from Vancouver. Sanay kasi ako sa Middle East turn carrier and then uh, it was uh, kumaga rarely po talaga ako nag Philippine Airlines ito lang recently when I was flying to the US or Canada so ang uh, dahil sanay nga po ako doon so I just have my uh, kumaga po may sarili akong hand carry and then meron pa akong laptop bag na sineta po nila ako sabi nila na kumbaga allowed siya kaya lang the bag was too big and then so forth and so on and then I do have to pay extra uh, para po doon sa kumbaga kinonsider yung uh, sa bag ko po. So uh, yung laptop with case, laptop lang po talaga yon with case at hindi siya kumbaga yung bag na napakalaki po kasi they will consider that as another uh, bag. So it's just a tip para maiwasan po natin extra baggage allowance. After that, whenever I travel po with Philippine Airlines so what I simply do, halimbawa po yung akin pinaka uh, bag for hand carry, pinapasok ko na lang po din yung laptop with case. So hindi na po dati po kasi pag Middle Eastern carrier, may extra backpack po ako aside sa hand carry ko. Okay lang po yun sa Etihad, sa Emirates, Singapore Airlines. Hindi naman po ako, hindi po ako sinisita. But Philippine Airlines is different. Medyo matuusin po talaga sila. So sa mga kabayan po natin from Middle East, alam kong sanay kayo sa ganong klase ng mga bag. So I'm just telling you na literal po ito ha, laptop with case lang po. So ako, pag pinasok ko po siya doon sa mismong hand carry bag ko, so inaalaw nila until 10 kg yung allowance. So 7 kilograms plus kung ano man yung weight ng aking laptop, hanggang maximum ng 10 kilograms, uh, acceptable nila yon uh, ng uh, Philippine Airlines. But if you exceed that, medyo iko-question nila yon ay titingnan nila. And um, there's a possibility like sa akin po, sad to say, I need to pay extra po. And uh, ando na yun eh, wala na ako magagawa I didn't know and I need those things and I just simply have to pay for that. And then, ito pa po. Sabi ko po yung kanina, multiple items that are strapped or tied together will not be counted as one piece of cabin item. So, kanina, ang sabi ko po, allowed lang po ng one small bag. So, minsan kasi, di ba, meron pang, uh, halimbawa ako po, yung video cam ko, may sariling bag yun. Yung camera ko, may sariling bag yun. Ngayon, kung susuotin ko all together yon hindi nila ika-count as one yon Tatlo. Eh, isa lang yung allowed. So, I might be, my attention might be caught. So, ang ginagawa ko na lang po, iniiwan ko na lang po yung bag ng video cam ko, at saka ng camera ko uh, sa bahay at nilalagay ko na lang po lahat ito doon sa hand carry ko uh, so that at least it will be counted as one. Basta protected naman po yung aking camera at yung video cam ko, uh, then I'm quite good with that. Kasi nga po, this is what they have mentioned. They will count it as multiple items, not as one. At syempre, may kasamang excess baggage charge yan. So, yan mga kabayan, paalala lamang. Now, please remember, a lot of you are asking me questions. Miss Jamie, pwede ba ako magdala ng uh, perfume, ng cologne sa bag? Pwede ba ako magdala ng sanitizer? Pwede ba ako magdala ng cream? Ayan. Uh, so, ang tano ang sagot natin dyan is, you can. Pero, remember to comply with the restrictions on liquid aerosols and gels. Containers cannot be more than 100 ml. So, yun po yung dapat may zip 
lock. Now, LAGs must be placed inside a sealed, transparent, or resealable liter bag. Only one bag per person is allowed. So, kailangan magkakasama na po yan. And then, ensure bag is clearly visible in tray. So, papalabas nila sa inyo yan. Alam nyo naman po yan. And then, titingnan nila. If the items are greater than 100 ml, place them in your check-in baggage or else they will actually through that or papaas nila sa inyo na itapon. Nangyari po sa akin again yan. Uh, once um, nakalimutan ko po from the hotel, nagmamadali ako kasi uh, late na tapos yung training ko and then I really have to uh, fly na. Hindi ko pala yung cologne ko kasi nagkakulong ako. So yung Victoria's Secret ko, nakalimutan ko po na <laughs> ilagay sa check-in bag. And dahil mas mataas siya sa 100 ml, Sayang po, uh, I need to throw it na. So, ganun po talaga ka-strict sila. Regardless of the brand, they will just have to have it thrown. So, para doon sa mga nagtatanong sa akin, pwede ba yung perfume? So, um, again, within 100 ml lang kung hindi, pasok mo na yan. Uh, doon sa check-in baggage mo, kesa masayang. So, ito po, uh, karagdagan po, in-flight travel accessories or devices. So, for safety and comfort of our passengers, ang um, Philippine Airlines po, they prohibit the use of bed boxes or knee defenders. Yung knee defenders po, uh, kapag tinignan nyo po yan sa internet, kasi minsan, di ba, yung iba matatangkad, mahahaba ang knees, and kapag yung nagre-recline yung ating chair, yung chair dun sa harapan natin, kapag di ba, ginagawa po nila yung sleep mode, so yung reclining chair, bumaba so meron po tinatawag na knee defender na dinadala sila on board. Now, hindi po inaalaw yan ng Philippine Airlines for uh, said reasons na uh, for safety po. Ayan. And then, what else? A summer question uh, from Lail Lail. Sabi niya, hi po, tanong ko lang po, may check-in baggage po ako na 20 kilograms. May 7 kilograms pa rin po ba ako for hand carry? Yes, Lail Lail. Usually naman, uh, kapag nagta-travel tayo, iba yung check-in luggage natin, baggage, free baggage allowance, at yung katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, 7 kilograms hand carry free baggage allowance, lagi naman tayong meron. So, international flight at ganun din domestic flight. As long as you comply with the dimensions of the bag too. Ito pa, mga questions mula sa ating uh, viewers. Ma'am Jamie, mula kay Maine, sabi niya, how many jewelry, how about jewelry po, for example, 20 pieces personal collection? Allowed po ba yun? Sana mapansin. Uh, sagutin ko yan, Maine, ha? Uh, ganito, Maine, ang jewelry mo ba, all of this, are, kumbaga, kasi meron tayong tinatawag, kasi hindi ko alam kung yung term mo na personal collection, ito yung brand na personal collection, it means na, uh, kumbaga, hindi ito yung mga talagang 20, uh, yung may mga karat na gold. Uh, pwedeng gold-plated ito or kung maga fancy. So ano ba itong jewelry mo? Ito ba yung talagang real gold? Or ito ba yung mga personal collection? Yung, di ba, ano siya, hindi siya talaga yung uh, mga matataas ang karats niya. Pero it could be categorized as kung maga uh, personal collection jewelries. Ngayon, kung ito yung may matataas na karats talaga at sa 20 pieces yan, uh, make sure that you keep it with you sa hand carry. Pero siguraduhin mo na yung documentation yan meron ka. Di ba, kasi pag mibili tayo ng mga, uh, mga alahas, uh, meron siyang documentation kasi hahanapin sa iyo yan, ma-scan yan sa security and they will take a look at also yung documentation. Just make sure that you have the documentation with you. Ngayon, kung like me, uh, meron ako kasi din yung mga, meron ako mga real na may mga carats na jewelry that I keep with me. Uh, liba, mga pearls ko, mga iba pa ko mga jewelries na valuable na may documentation. Nandun yan with me dun sa hand carry ko. Pero, kung halimbawa, I do have, share ka sa inyo, <laughs> <laughs> Kasi mahirig din ako doon sa mga jewelries na mga fancy jewelries na medyo magaganda, uh, magaganda siya at at the same time, you know, uh, for different attires that I have na magagamit ko, I also have this. Let me show you. Ayan. So, ito yung container ko. Uh, uh, ito yung ginagamit natin for medicines and everything. Since hindi naman siya yung real carrot uh, na talaga na matataas, uh, fancy lang siya na mga gold-plated na nabibili natin uh, and, and very affordable. So, I usually just place it in this uh, type of container. Actually, madami ako niyan. Kasi nga, di ba, I vlog, I love accessories. So, I have a lot. Now, uh, this one... Uh, 
sa check-in ko na siya nilalagay. Kasi I feel safe naman na, alam mo yun, uh, hindi naman siya mawawala. Kasi hindi naman siya, uh, kumbaga yung, uh, kumbaga high uh, priced valued na, kumbaga katulad ng mga high carat na jewelries na kailangan talagang pagkaingatan kasi ang uh, mahal niya. So again, ang, ang, ang sagot ko sa tanong mo, kung yan ay talagang matataas at talagang Uh, kung baga, valuable jewelries, I suggest to hand carry siya. Make sure you have the documentations with you. If hindi naman like mine, yung mga fashion jewelries ang tawag ko dyan, so I just keep it doon sa check-in ko and safe naman siya. Never naman ako nawalan ng fashion jewelries sa check-in bag ko. Yan. And then from uh, Hey It's Jess, sabi ni Hey It's Jess, pwede ba sa check-in baggage yung phones? Two phones to be exact and they're gonna be off. It's a gift kasi and I don't want to carry it in, carry on. Is it allowed? Let me know. Please, thank you. Ngayon, uh, Hey It's Jess, uh, it's up to you. Ako usually, pag aking mga cellphone, I prefer to have it sa aking uh, hand carry. But just make sure na ready ka ipakita sa security kasi pag uh, di ba sa security pag hand carry yan pinapalabas nila lahat laptop separate and then uh, yung cellphone separate din na kumbaga box kapag ini-scan nila so just make sure na uh, kumbaga you uh, kumbaga you're ready and prepared for it pero kung i-check in mo siya wala naman din uh, problema yun na nga lang hindi ko mag-guarantee yung security din. Kasi di ba, alam mo naman yung nangyayari, minsan may nawawalan ng mga valuables or ng mga cellphone sa check-in bag. I hope it will not happen. Pero if you choose na ilalagay siya sa check-in bag, make sure na you wrap it talaga. Na alam mo yun, secure and safe na hindi siya just in case lang na matsyempohan yung bag mo ng hindi magagandang loob. At least, uh, hindi agad makikita na cellphone yon So, yun. Yun lang yung tip ko. Ito yung paalala ng uh, PAL. Please keep your valuable items with you or in your carry-on baggage at all times. That's why I said na kung yung cellphone talaga of high value din siya, so better na sa carry-on siya. Pero if you think naman na you can pack it very well at hindi naman yung value niya napakataas at okay ka na i-risk siya sa check-in bag, nasa sayo pa rin. Hey, it's just yung decision. But again, all valuables sa lahat ng viewers natin, please take care of it uh, just for your safety. Some more questions. Ito, ang daming viewers natin na nagtatanong at marami ang musically inclined. Gitara, pwede ba sa hand carry? Mula kay Junjun Balila, sabi niya, ma'am, tanong ko lang, pwede po ba sa hand carry yung guitar? Philippine Airlines po sa sakyan ko. Salamat and God bless you more. From Fes Galang, sabi niya, Sir Junjun Balila, ask ko lang if nakauwi na po ba kayo and if nadala niyo ang guitar niyo sa hand carry or check-in. From Nestor Briganya, ma'am, good evening. How about uh, guitar? Ma'am, no problem ba to hand carry it? Thank you again. From Janelle Job, hello po ma'am, pwede po ba i hand carry ang gitara. Salamat po. Sa inyong lahat, Junjun, Fest, Nestor, Janelle, ito ang ating sagot mula po sa Philippine Airlines. Uh, guitars cannot fit in the overhead compartment of the aircraft or under the passenger seat. Kaya po ang sagot siya, hindi po siya pwedeng i-hand carry. To ensure the accommodation on flight, all the guitars, lahat mo ng gitara, shall be accepted only as check-in baggage, whether contained in a hard or soft case. So, uh, I hope you can secure your guitars very well para po hindi siya ma, kumbaga, masira po. Now, musical instruments shall be free of charge if within the free baggage allowance of you as a passenger and kailangan within 39 inches or 100 centimeter lang po ito in length. Kung sakasakaling lumampas, anong mangyayari? Otherwise, the musical instrument shall be considered as an additional one-piece baggage for key system or excess in weight for weight system. Again, depende po kung saan kayo manggagaling ha. Tandaan nyo po, merong mga bansa na ang counting ng kanilang baggage ay per piece or per bagahe or some naman po in excess of weight per kilograms ang bayad kung extra. Now, uh, in addition to the applicable free baggage allowance and excess baggage charge uh, shall apply. Other musical instrument that cannot fit in the overhead compartment should be checked in. 
please ensure that the item is in proper package to avoid breakage. Naku, may kwenta ako sa inyo sa isang airlines naman yon about the guitar, pero hindi na muna ngayon. Sa ibang video na po yon. PAL will not be held liable for any damage that may occur during transit of inad inadequately packaged guitar and other musical instruments. So, yan po ang sagot natin. Hindi po pwede sa hand carry. Kailangan check in baggage, ingatan, and make sure well packed siya para hindi masira on the way pa uwi sa Pilipinas. Next question, mula naman kay Mitzi, Mitzi Lay. Hi po, good morning. Ask ko lang po if pwede po ba magdala ng hair iron, hair straightener sa hand carry. Ang sagot natin, Mitzi Lay, dyan, it's best na kailangan ipak mo na lang ito sa check-in uh, bag mo. Ako, I always ensure that uh, kailangan ilagay siya sa check-in baggage for safety lang. Yan. So, yun ang ating sagot siya ni Chile unless otherwise specified by the airlines na uh, pwede talaga ito. From Leandro Kindoza, hello po ma'am. Pwede po ba ang hand carry, ang, speak, eh, ang speaker like JBL Boombox, salamat po. Or speaker po uh, from Rafi Jean Carino, speaker po na 2 feet uh, times 1 feet allowed po ba? Again, uh, para sagot po natin sa inyong uh, dalawa. Kung portable Bluetooth yan na uh, kumbaga, speaker, pwede naman yon. Yung kay Rafi, as long as kasha sa hand carry, maari din naman siya. Pero ito lang po ang take into consideration. Now, can you bring a big Bluetooth uh, speaker on a plane? Bluetooth speakers are allowed on planes, but the battery size should be less than 100 watt hours. So you cannot take a big Bluetooth speaker on a plane as carry on luggage if it exceeds the limit of 100 watt hours. So yan po, mula sa ating source sa improveworkspace.com. Now, if you want to really be a uh, kumbaga po, uh, kumbaga specific, you can also coordinate with the airlines itself uh, just in case hindi pumasok or iba po yung specification ng inyong Bluetooth speaker. So that's it everyone. Looking forward, nakatulong po ang ating kasagutan sa inyong katanungan regarding hand carry questions or hand carry baggage allowance question. This is just part one everyone and we will be discussing more questions about Philippine Airlines and I'll be discussing po other questions uh, for other airlines as well. Kasi nga po, iba-iba po yung kanila mga rules. So, uh, please watch out for that. Kung may mga questions pa po kayo, please don't hesitate. Type it down on the comment box so that at least we could answer that. With that, mga kabayan, uh, muli po, nagpapasalamat ako sa inyong pananonood. If you find this video helpful and informative, please click like and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. And at the same time po, uh, ito po yung unang channel natin, Jamie Iris Talk TV. Yung pangalawang channel ko naman po is Jamie Iris Empowers, the training and career channel for you. So, please subscribe to that as well. If you want tips po, paano mag-apply, ano, paano ba mag-prepare ng resume, paano po ba ma-promote sa trabaho. So, yung pangalawang channel ko naman po, that's Jamie Iris Empowers, the training and career channel for you. So, subscribe na rin po kayo nang ma matulungan ko kayo bilang learning and development trainer and manager po. Ay, natulungan, matulungan ko kayo katulad ng pagtulong ko po sa more than 30,000 uh, trainees and leaders that I have uh, trained already po from 100 nationalities. With that, everyone, lagi niyo pong pagkatandaan. Saan man po tayong dako ng mundo, taas na o. Tayo po'y mga Filipino. With that, have a pleasant flight. Ingat po kayo. Stay safe and stay healthy. God bless you all. See you in my next video.